Hello everybody and welcome back to another Pocket Mine plugin tutorial slash showcase. Today we're going to be looking at an elevate elevator plugin by Matt Cracker. And uh, I've got a demonstration behind us. If you can see the signs, there's lots of things. Everything is changeable in the config to suit your needs. So yeah, it's a really good plugin. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Also, just quickly before I demonstrate this, I just want to say that lots of people, 80% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So please, if you enjoy these videos, I do upload weekly Pocket Mind plugin showcases and tutorials and reviews, etc. So please do check out my other videos, and if you like them, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. So thank you if you do so. Let me show you what this plugin does. So you can see here, it says lift up. This is one I've made earlier. You click it, boom, you go to the next one. This is, says lift down and lift up. We have to do two of these. And we can go up again and again. We could go down, we could go down, we could go back up. We could go back down. It doesn't look like we've changed if I go like that. If I don't move, because obviously they're all the same. But uh, you can tell we, we are moving on our little elevator. We are going up and down. So yeah, this is a uh, really cool. So let me show you how to make one now. So this is with the default configurations. You need to make sure you're on line one. You can change whether you want to be on line zero, one, two, or three in the config files. Then you want to put lift and then up or down. So basically you want to put up where you want to go up then down to connect the lift and then another one basically you're making lots of separate elevators uh, up the wall so just do this and then once you've done that you will successfully create an elevator sign and if you click it it will not be able to find one above so then you've got to do a lift down here make sure you're on the uh, the correct line that you have set in your config you can also change the, you see how it's blue, you can change that, you can change what it says, and then you click this, and you go down, click this, you go back up, so then we need to make another one, so, you know, same thing, lift up again, and then up here, lift down, you get the idea, and you can keep doing this up and up, or whatever. So yeah, there's no permissions related to this. All of your players will be able to do this, so either you can tell them about it, or you can let them figure out, or whatever you want to do. But it is a really cool plugin, especially if you're having um, kind of mini games. If they've got a map where you want an elevator, or you want people, players, to be able to go up to different floors or something, then this is really helpful for that, and it's super simple, and like I said, everything is configurable in the config files, so you can change which line, you can change the format of the sign, you can change the messages, like it says in the chat once you've done stuff, you can change all of that in the config files, so yeah, it is super simple, and I definitely recommend this one, I'd give this one a... Uh, a, a 10 out of 10, I'll give this one a 10 out of 10, it's got lots of configuration, it does the job, it does what you're expecting, nothing really more that you could want from it, to be honest, it is it is pretty good, so thank you for watching this video, if you want to get this plugin for yourself, the download link in to go to Pogit is in the description, again, well done to Matt Cracker for making this wonderful plugin, and I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye!